Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Wyatt, and today I'm going to show you how to script a color changing part on Roblox. Alright, so before I begin showing you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So if we go into the game, you'll see that the part is constantly changing color every second to a random color. Alright, so now that you know what the script does, I want to show you how it works and how you can recreate it. So, to start, we're going to create a new part and we'll put it in workspace. And we'll just make it a square to make it look a little bit nicer. And we'll just name it color part for now. Now, inside of this part, we're going to want to create a script. And this is going to be the script that we will be working in to change the color of the part. So, we'll add a new script. And we can just name it color script. So today I'm going to show you three different methods on how to change the color of a part through code just in case you wouldn't want to do it through the UI or you wanted to do it when someone clicked a button or something like that. So the first method, we're going to change it to a color by specifying a string. So what we would do is say script.parent, which is the color part, dot brick color equals brick color dot new and then in here we can specify whatever color we want inside of double quotes. So maybe we want it to be red. We can select really red from the list. And if we click play and we go into the game, as you'll see right here, the part is actually going to change to red. Now maybe we want to change it to green. So the same thing goes for that. We type in green. And maybe I want a bright green. And then we just click play on the game. And we'll head right in. And as you will see, the part has changed to green. So this is a really simple way and a really easy way to change the color of a part, but you don't have that much control over it. You can only change it to the colors that Roblox supports. So now I'm going to show you a method that requires inputting three numbers. So for this one, you're going to say script.parent.brickcolor equals brickcolor.new, just like before. But this time, we're going to give it three arguments. We're going to give it a red value out of 255, a green value out of 255, and a blue value out of 255. Now, just to show you how this works, if I set the first value, the red value, to 255, the part when we go in game, it's going to change to completely red, 100% red, just like that. But now, if we set the second argument, the green value, to 255, we go right into the game. As you're going to see right here, it'll come up as a nice bright green color. So you can always set red, green, or blue to 255, but maybe if you want to get like a teal color, you can actually mix the colors by saying green to 255 and blue to 255. And then if we go into the game, as you'll be able to see right here, See, it's a nice teal color. So you can mix any color you want by saying maybe like 5 or 255 or any amount of the color that you want, but it always has to be out of 255 because 255 is the maximum in an RGB color value. So this is pretty cool, changing the colors of a part to you know a static color, something that we know, but maybe we want it to be a completely random color, right? Something that we don't know. And the way we could actually achieve this is by saying script.parent.brickcolor equals brickcolor.random. And when we go into the game, you'll see it'll generate a completely random brick color and set that to the color of the part. So right here, oh, blue. And then if we go in again, you'll see this time, see, we get a purple color. So it'll do random color out of all the Roblox colors available. So again, this is pretty awesome, but what if I want something that constantly changes color and it's not just changes it when I go right into the game. And the way we can achieve this is by saying while true do, so this is constantly running, and then we just put this random code right inside of there. So we're constantly setting the brick color to a random color and if we just have a wait so that it'll do it every second, it should constantly change the brick color. And let's just go in and see. And there we go. Every second is changing to a new random color. Pretty cool. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. If you'd like to download the model or take a look at the script, I have both of those links down in the description. 
and I'll see you later.